Hi everyone, my name is Michelle and I make time-lapse videos of how I did my paintings. Today I'm painting a French bulldog on an A4 size stretched canvas. First, a quick sketch using the grid method. This canvas was primed with gesso and one layer of oil primer. For the background, I used cerulean blue, thalo blue and a little bit of raw umber and titanium white. So I always start painting the animals from the eyes. There's always this darkest stream around the iris and below the eyelid. I often start painting from here, then try to notice the value of color of the eyeball. It's not a uniformed color. Because it's a round shape, the value will change as it curves depending on the light source. And remember to leave the area of light reflection. Of course, we can paint over it if we forgot, but I prefer to leave it so that we can see from the start how the eye will look like. Same for the other eye, I start from the rim that has the darkest value. And again, pay attention to the slight change in value in the color of the iris. Now the nose, again I start painting from the darkest area. This way we are outlining the nose and it's easier to continue painting from here. As this is the first layer, it's okay if we are not that precise. Remember to also leave the curving areas where there are light reflections. Here at the snout, I mainly paint with a darker value right below the nose and a lighter grey color on the outside. After I fill in with these colors, then I gently blend the two where they meet. Next, I work on the black color. There are slight differences in value in the black fur, but since this is the first layer, I only differentiate the most obvious part, that is the area of its left side. For the area around the left eye, it's not a pure grey color. I do mix in a tiny bit of cadmium red deep hue into the grey. The inner area of the ears is a mixture of white, cadmium red deep hue and a bit of black. For the tongue, I mix cadmium red deep hue, titanium white and a bit of cadmium orange hue. For the inner area, I add a bit of black to darken the color. Last part of the first layer is the white fur. I use titanium white with a bit of ivory black. Some area like this part above the nose, I add a bit of yellow ochre. I would like to mention here that if you would like to watch a longer version of this video, it is available on my Patreon page. I'll put the link in the description below. The next day, I'm just going to paint the background. I'm adding an indication of wings in the background. I didn't want to do a detailed wing, so I just used a very light grey to indicate some shapes on the wings. By the way, the medium I use for the first layer is one part linseed oil and two parts sensodor. For the second layer of the background, I am using an equal mix of one part linseed oil and one part sensodor. For the second layer of the dog, the same thing. I'm just going over the same process again to saturate the color and refine the details. Again, starting from the eyes and painting the darkest area. The black rim on the eyeball and gentle transition into the lighter black and the different values of black will make the eyeball comes to life. Here I want to paint the inner area of the ears first and work on other area later. So that when I return to the ears, the pink color would be slightly tacky already and easier for me to paint the black fur on top. And the medium I use here is also one part linseed oil, one part sensodor. 
The change in value on the nose is very minimal. Try not to add the white too much at one go. Just go slow, add a tiny bit each time. It's important to smooth and show the gentle transition on the nostrils where it curves outward. Here I painted the tongue slightly bigger than what it was. Tiny as the teeth is, there are still variations in the value. So when painting the teeth, we need to take note of that. The pink is slightly tacky now. I paint the edge of the ear with black and slowly work inwards to blend with the pink. Here I do use pure black for the darkest part. If you look closer, you will notice the different values of black here, including the right side of its face where it receives less light. For its left side, it's more obvious. Next, the white fur, painting from the darkest grey, this time pay attention to the direction of the fur as this would be the final layer. Lastly, very gently adding the tiny whiskers and the tiny hair on its snout. And the painting is done. Thank you very much for watching till the end. Please do consider subscribing to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye!